So guys, I keep here and today we're going to do we're going to install macOS Monterey on my Skylake CPU. So I'm gonna install I'm gonna make this 32 GB bootable. So all the drill are just the same like all other videos. So open up your balena etcha will be greeted with something like this then select your file and then i'll select my olarila monterey click ok select your target select and then click on flash wait for it to finish and then you're going to add our compatible ufi sorry EFI folder so let's wait for it to finish and then I'll be back when it's done okay so as you can see here we have 10 milliseconds for this one to complete and then we can add our EFI here then our USB will be bootable and ready to boot the there we go as you can see it says flash complete so that's a good sign so just close that balena etcher and then we need to copy here is our efi we need to copy our efi folder and then add add it to our usb drive so copy that one run explorer plus plus so just open explorer plus plus as an administrator and then just delete all these ones okay and after it finishes just paste our our efi the one that is compatible with our CPU just copy it and then paste let's wait for it okay it's done so our USB is ready to boot our Mac OS Monterey on our Skylake piece CPU sorry so next thing i'll go to the cpu and then we'll start the installation process okay okay guys so this is the machine that you're going to install the monterey on it is the essa veriton okay you can see it has usb 2.0 2 and USB 3.02 and on the back let me show you on the back it has sorry let me this is my Wi-Fi card so it has two USB 3 port two ports sorry two USB 3 ports and then four USB 2 ports at the back, VGA, DVI, and display port. If you want to use the old school mouse and keyboard, also you have. So, and this is my Wi Fi card. It is the Broad, Broadcom, sorry. And this is my NVIDIA GT 710. There. So, let me plug this one. The power cable and then we'll continue with the installation so and, so and then this is our USB which we just created a few minutes earlier so let me plug it in right here and then okay so let us already plugged in my usb so let us 
put it on okay there we go so that's good that's good yes 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 as you can see here you just need to boot from install mac os monterey right here just hit enter and let us wait There we go. That's a good news as we seen that task see that task power process progress bar. I don't know. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so we have been greeted with this screen. So just click on continue and then put this utility click on continue and then it will pull all the disks that are there so let me show all the devices I'll format this one just erase And uh, make sure it is in FPFS and GUID partition. So let me name it Macintosh HD. And then click on Erase. Okay, so it is done, so just click on done and close boot disk utility. And then next click on install macOS Monterey. Let's see if our Wi-Fi is working. Okay, so click on continue here. agree um, agree choose our hard disk click on continue now we have about 47 minutes remaining but till, yeah there we go just that 30 minutes so i'll pause the video and come when done okay so we are at 12 minutes anytime from now it's going to restart so let's wait for it Okay, so it has just restarted, so click on the Mac installer and then continue. So the next screen is where it will give us the 29 minutes remaining. So there, the mouse cursor. Okay, there we go. 29 minutes remaining. So we wait. We are at eleven minutes. So it will restart and then continue again. So let's wait for it. Okay, so the machine is restarted and we are greeted with the installer so we need to select our region or country so let us do that okay so this one lags a lot but it's because of the graphics 
don't think the graphics it has graphics acceleration but we'll fix it in the post install so let us just click on continue not now and let me just choose my computer does not connect to the internet click on continue continue okay here on the data again click on no oh, sorry just go back and choose not now agree the term and conditions click on yes agree now give you a akintosha name so okay so give your machine a name and add your password and verify your password after that click on continue so as you can see here it's creating a account so let us be patient and wait for it to finish so after this is one is done we're gonna go to our screencast and we'll continue from there so let's just wait for it to finish so the next screen you click on continue and don't use location services and just click continue we'll change it on the post screen and check this one then continue set up later we can continue continue not now continue continue so guys this is it we have successfully installed our monterey on this skylake cpu right here so that's it guys as you can see i don't see if it has the graphics acceleration but we'll just fix it in the next video so today's tutorial was about the installation process and as you can see we have successfully installed guys here it is we have successfully installed our macOS Monterey on this Skylake CPU, the Esa Veriton, right here.